Hi guys, today we're going to do something you're going to love. We're going to make bead link connectors out of glass beads, but a very special glass bead. I'm going to show you all about it. It's like a fire polish bead, maybe six, eight millimeter cut in half. So you can stack things in the middle. Very cool stuff. They call them hill beads. I'm going to show you how to make bead links out of those and tube beads to make really super cool earrings and necklaces. So come on over here. It's an easy trick. You'll be making them in no time. And don't forget, please subscribe to my channel because we're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff going forward. And also, if you like the video, leave me a like. I would appreciate that or a kind comment, either or both. I'll take them. So come on over and I'll show you how to make glass bead connectors. So guys, I just love doing this. I love making bead connectors. I could sit all afternoon and all the next one sitting and just making these because once I have a whole bunch of them made up, boy, the sky's the limit. I can make all kinds of stuff and it makes me think of all kinds of other stuff and then other stuff and, other, and pretty soon I've just figured out half the world there in a minute. <laughs> So anyway, what I like to do, though, when I make these connectors, I like to start out thinking of earrings, like these that I made. They're very simple. I just use a little check. Uh, this is all stuff that's at our website. A little check flower and bead, a couple of uh, crystal AB um, and gold rondelles, a couple of old check. These are vintage Baroque check glass pearls. And then at the bottom, I like to make a wheel just to dangle there. I don't know if you can see that. It's really pretty. So I'll just show you real quick how that goes. I'll just make one and you'll see how I do it. So I start out with my pearls. So I put, let's see, how did I do it? <laughs> I put one pearl. This is about an eight millimeter pearl. So as soon as I find the hole in that, I'll stick that in there. Then I'm going to take one of these little guys. This is about a four, four and a half millimeter rhinestone rondelle. We have them at the website. This is like a staple go-to item in this size, this little tiny size. It's got AB stones and it's on gold metal. So I put that in there and then I'm going to string on another here. Sometimes you have to fight a little bit to find the holes. Have you ever noticed that? Okay, before I do that, though, I forgot something. I'm stringing on this little one. Then I'm going to string on this little bit bigger one. And this is a really cool, I love stacking the rondelles. I don't know if you can quite see that. Into it. Yeah, see, I love stacking them. There's so much you can do. And I'll show you another example in just a minute when I get this one done. So I put this one on there. And now I'm just looking to see what I did. <laughs> you ever do that? I think it's important. Look and see what you just did. Then I put another one. That's the large. I think it's a seven millimeter. And I do believe we have them at the site. And then let's see. How far am I? Did I get this the same way as this? Yes, I did. Okay. I like to just kind of size it up in case I want to do another one just like that. Okay. Now I put the little hat on it. That's ready to go. So I got two pearls. One small four millimeter rhinestone and two seven millimeters, and then a little flower bead, which everybody has some of those in their stash. Okay, so now there's one important thing about this when you finish this. These are on these long, I'm using a three inch um, head pin, but you know, those may not be available to you right now. I don't, I'm not sure we have any in our site or not. I'm, we. I'm pretty sure we do have some, but if not, let me know because I'll put them on. But anyhow, you want to make sure you have it all the same, and then you want to make sure that this one in the bottom is going sideways here, like this, and the one in the top, you want it to go front and back so that this will connect up just right for you. See? Nope, I want it to go this way. Yeah goes this way and then the other way. So normally you make them go both the same way, but I want them to do different. I'll show you. When I get that on there, you'll see real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and make my loop, and it probably won't be the neatest loop you ever saw in your life, but you'll get the point. So now this is a little tricky part. i got to get this turned the other way so that it'll go the way I want it to go. I'm pretty much doing it. So I can twist it a little bit afterwards. I'm going to turn it over these kind of don't want to stay tight that's why i kind of like if you just cut your wire off and do it because um these great big long ones they're cool and i use them a lot but 
I, I do think a, a shorter length of wire will make you a better um, finished. Do you think 20 gauge would work? Um, these are, I think, 20 gauge. They're just long. <coughs> and so they just don't... They might be a little bit heavier. They might be like 19. But I think they're 20 gauge. Okay, I went around. And now I'm going to just snip it. You know, you guys see me do this a billion times. I need to speak up a little bit. So anyway, you know, I do this all the time. i got to get my tail pushed in. And that's not the best, but this is good enough. But you want to get it pushed in really good. I'll go back. What I always do at the end is I always go back and I feel over it and see if I feel anything rough. Then I want to get rid of that. Okay, now it's time to put the little hoops so on it. I'm using these great big um, twisted jumps, gold jumps. These are from my own stash, but I am getting them from the site. We'll have them soon. But I wanted to go ahead and use them today because they're so pretty. Normally, I don't like to use stuff unless I have it because so, everybody says, well, can I get some too? And I'm like, oh, I didn't have any. So that's not nice. So anyway, now I'm going to put this on. And now I want my big wheel bead like this, which is, I thought I laid it out. We'll use these. These will work. These are probably like 10 millimeter wheel beads, wheel Rondells, and do okay. we have those on the site? I believe we do. Yeah, I know okay. we have them in Jet AB, which is like my favorite ever. Yeah. I have to put another order this week because we sell through them so fast. And but anyway, so beautiful. Yeah, they are beatable and beautiful. <laughs> you see how I want it to be? I want it to, to hang this way. So this has got to be turned just a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll take my two pliers and then I very carefully grab hold of this at the bottom without nicking that pearl. We don't want to do that. I may have to just hold it and just twist it a little bit till I get it more sideways. You guys have had to do this. Yeah. One goes the other way and the other one goes right. the other way. I want them to go opposite so that yeah. this will be, you know, going back. hanging the right way. Right. So, yeah, this way, like that. So, that's how you do it. You know, I would, I would fine tune that a little bit. That's kind of quick just to show you the basic thing. But now the connectors, this is a cool, this is another cool thing. I love to stack the rondelles. That makes you a really cool connector. So with this one, I had a really cool connector using the hill beads. And hill beads look like this. They look like half of a fire polish bead. Just half of it. See, it's flat on the other side. And it's like it's just cut right in the middle. And I said, what's that for? I don't know. I think they made them to go with the shape beads and stuff that they sell to make all the pattern lacy things that you just bead up and stuff, which I'm not real good at. But I like to look at those beads because a lot of times I find something that's unique and I can use it another way. So that's this is one of them. I love hill beads. Kind of reminds me of a bead cap. <laughs> yeah, in a way, or a dome, yeah. but it's faceted, it's fire polish. So anyway, so I put one on this end and one on this one, and, and then I stack my Weinstein Rondells. This one's probably about a 7 or an 8, and this one would be the biggest one, like maybe a 10 or a 12 in the middle. I just stack them. And then I made a baby drop, too. These are these are 6 millimeter hill beads oh, with a so little cute. tiny 5 millimeter. And we have these Jet ABs. These are very hard to find. Jet AB Rondells. Very hard to find, but they they add so much depth and drama to your piece. I just absolutely have to have them. So I made this into a pair of dangly earrings, but I could also make it into chain. Like I was working on this. I got, guys, I didn't do this one today because I didn't get it done. I just, I'm just fussing over it and working. But you see how I just use it in pieces to dangle along with these very earthy organic pieces. I love to t throw a little bling in there too. So I made kind of a chain out of it. And then I combined it with my other stuff. And it just brings a little drama to it. A little bit of bling in there. It didn't hurt anybody. But I'm still working on this one. But I wanted to show you. You can make chain out of it. And speaking of which, I did make some chain. And I'll show you how to do this one real quick. And you're going to love it. Okay, see how this goes? I've used my little braided twisted jumps. I've used my little flower beads with the Picasso on them and I've used these really beautiful like indigo blue color um, hill beads and rhinestone rondelles and I've also used the tubes so there's a uh, 
specific way you have to get them to point when you're doing tubes so it stabilizes them they don't run around and get all weird on you you know sometimes they don't want to stay in place so I'm going to show you that after I do this first one so I need I need some of these guys one two three four I've got more up here and I've got strands of them down here too okay why cut it right you know why cut it if you got it already so I'm going to put one of these facing up Okay, then this one is going to be facing up to the dome part down, dome part down, facing up bead, dome part down, then the string on a rhinestone center. So I use this one, which is about a seven millimeter. I might rather use a smaller one, but it'll hold it in place once I put the other one on. So now I put this one with the dome going up. So down on the bottom, up on the top. Put that in the middle. Now we're going to put a little bead. And all we have to do is wrap the end. And you don't have to wrap them. This, this one's the end that came. Really, I should wrap both of them, but I'm just wrapping this one. You do whatever seems best to you because I'm not the wrapping police. In fact, I'm not even that good at wrapping. I do it all the time, but, you know, I'm the wonky, wonky wire girl. So mine are always going to be a little bit uh, organic looking. And it doesn't really matter which way you, you loop. This is this going to be fine. You know, if it's going, this one's going this way and this one going this way, that does not matter. Don't even worry about it. So I'm going to go around about two times. As you see, it's already getting wonky. And uh, it's because of this wire is too long. It'd be better if it was shorter. And maybe the type of wire, too. These are, these are vintage. I bought them out of a vintage findings place. You know, you get a deal. Sometimes, you know, you get what you pay for. So now I'm going to clip this off. This time, not in Javi's eyes. <laughs> and then I'm going to kind of just press that in, tuck that in a little bit so you can see. And then, like I say, when I'm done, I'll come back and fill over. And I'm going to kind of compress these loops, too, because they could be a little tighter. For sure, for sure. But that's good enough. So that makes me a nice beaded connector. And I could just keep making and make like rosary chain out of it. Or I could put it in between other things or metal pieces or whatever. You know, whatever you want to do. Very, very versatile. And I just love these hill beads because you can put something in between. You could put rhinestone rindel. You could put little cute spacer beads. You could put other beads, you know, and bead caps. You know, however it pleases you, whatever you think looks good, you can do it. But I just love it that it gives you that option. And we do have a lot of them at our website. That's not something you have to worry about. We've got a whole bunch of them. I have a bunch of them, real exotic, beautiful colors. You need to come and see them. And they're not expensive either. You can A little bit goes a long way. Now, the last thing I want to show you today is I want to show you this tube bead link because you got to do it a certain way, okay? So first, I want a flower bead, again, the same one I've been using. I think it's like... I didn't measure it, but it's either 5 by 7 or 6 by 8 It's not a big one, just a little one, okay? And it doesn't matter which way it's going because it's not going to hang from your ears and you know look all wonky and funny you know that's why you have to be careful with earrings that you get them going the right way but with this is not a big deal so now i'm going to do um i'm going to do a little rhinestone rondelle in here that's like a four and a half four millimeter we have them at the site now with this i'm going to put this one with the dome facing up instead of down you see flowers going up rhinestone bead then the dome facing up and real quick I'll take and I put these beautiful connectors I have their cast sink and their antique gold finish we have a good many on the site and more coming too I put it on there and the reason why I like to do it going that way is because it kind of holds it because it's kind of long and it's got a big hole to it you know and I don't want it wiggling around I want it tight so I put it that way on the top then I'll put another one this one is going to go down into it so let's see that's going to just hold it real good see so now I need one more little rhinestone rondelle and I need one more flower okay and we got it so now I just need to loop it let's see if I can do a better job this time that's what I say every time I do it, I say can I do a little bit better this time you think as many years as I've been doing this I just never taught myself to be really precise with it. I really should sit down one day and say, okay, today you're going to be precise. Just to say I can do it. 
I like my wonky wraps. I love the way they look. But there's sometimes maybe you want them not wonky. Okay, now I got a nice little bead loop, kind of the same size. You want to keep them the same size. So check and see how it measures up with the other one. And then I'll wrap this end. And I'm just going to take that tail and pull it. And go around. Let's see how tight I can get to it. Maybe I'll do a really good one this time. You never know. Hey, that's better. Not really good, but it's better. Until I tuck it in, maybe it won't be too bad. Okay. Now I'll cut this off. And once again, I'm going to point down so I don't clip it into hobby. And we pack, practice good safety in our workshop. So this is sticking out pretty bad, so I need to tip that in a little bit. I love these flat nose pliers. I don't have any of the Wolfies right now, but I think on the website we have some that are kind of just like this. They work pretty much the same way. I have to get the pairs again. Okay, so now they always run out of them and then they don't have them for a long time. Okay, so see, you can see very quickly that made, you know, I could just keep on going with this. I could have a beautiful necklace. Or you know what else this might make this pretty? You know, one of those mask chains everybody's wearing you know instead of just putting a piece of old chain on there which is fine it holds it but i mean why not do something pretty if we got to wear those things we might as well dress them up right why not these are great for connectors for earrings too i was thinking like if i was to take let's just open this up real quick come here you this is what's bad with them. I can't quite see where the where closure. The line is. Yeah, I can't quite see, so I just have to twist twist them, and I have to be careful because I don't want to like contort it out of shape, you know. But I did get that one. Okay, so let's say I want to make a long linear drop earring, like we're real popular in the twenties. So I put this guy in here and get him up flush, and then I could do an ear earring drop just. To, earring from there, leave this drop, and then maybe put one more little tiny drop, real tiny drop on the bottom. That would be pretty. Um, you could also put a, a few, like, uh, little tiny beads here onto this hoop. I mean, it's a lot you can do. Like I say, once you get going with this, you will just see all kinds of things that you could do and make yours more and more unique. And also, too, if you have a choice of unique components, it also helps when you can do things, you know, kind of unique. Like here I made a stack of the rhinestone beads that were in this, this earring. I just put like one like this. I think it's like an eight. This is like a 12, that's a real big one. It has a big hole in it. So you can put on those memory wire bracelets and let it slide on the bracelet on the top. And you just put your beads going either way and it, voila, there you go. So lots of cool things to do with it. I hope you'll maybe uh, get into your bead stash and get monkeying around and see what you can do that's new and unique with what you got. And if you need some extra things, rhinestone rondelles, hill beads, you know, whatever, we got them at Visa Boutiques. We have some of the most unique things, and that's, I choose them because I want them to be unique. I don't want to look like everybody else. I want unique things. Some things we may have all the time, some things we may not, but it's always worth coming to have a look because we always have new stuff. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you have some fun with it. I know I will. I'm going upstairs and make that necklace out of this. So you guys have a great day and thanks bunches. Mm -hmm.